everyone in YouTube world. I am coming to you with another video and I've done enough of these videos where I'm not really thinking about the backdrop as much as I probably should be. But these videos are just to chronicle my doll collection and for those of you who also love dolls in YouTube, in the YouTube world, um, you guys know that you don't need a whole lot to start a doll collection. Um, a lot of people do have doll collections for very different reasons. But um, I wanted to show you guys what I got for my Molly collection and a couple of more um, things for my doll collecting purposes, <laughs> um, I should say. But for Molly, you guys know already I have three Mollies. The third one's not featured here. But this is my beautiful white body Molly. Um, and she had her eyes replaced by the doll hospital at American Girl. And so they kind of um, guaranteed me that this Molly had not been tampered with or re-wigged or anything like that. I really got a really good um, in condition or good condition Molly, maybe excellent condition. The only thing that was missing for this Molly were her glasses. Um, but then I have my super chubby Molly. Um, sorry guys, which I love. Um, I don't care that she has a new head. Um, she has a pleasant company body, but I grew up in the era where um, chubby dolls were in. So this Molly, I just feel more attached to for some reason. Like I usually display my white body Molly, but with this Molly, um, I have outsourced her to the rest of my family as like a play doll where her hair gets brushed on occasion because I think her wig is so fabulous and she gets changed more than not. And I just feel like anytime I need to curl up with a good book, um, this is the Molly that I prefer to have right beside me um, near my pillow. And these are all my other dolls that I bring out every now and then. Of course, um, you have some OG, our generation dolls from Target. And even though they are inexpensive dolls, they are very, very high quality, beautiful dolls, I think. Um, and I love the outfits that our generation has in their collection, like... This is um, a pizza party pajama outfit and she's got like her little pizza pillow. So my family loves playing with um, this doll uh, just and the pizza pillow gets played with um, a lot too when it comes to my youngest, the youngest member of my family. He likes to toss it up in the air and uh, it always ends up on the floor or in some kind of corner somewhere. And uh, this, she has a, this doll, she has freckles and she has like a little dog named Confetti, which came with her. And that's what I love about our generation is that the pets come with the dolls. And this is my chipped lipped Josefina. So she is not the first edition Josefina, but she is a pleasant company Josefina nonetheless. So um, I really value her. She kind of goes where Molly goes because she's a doll that gets played with a lot too. So um, because I ordered some things for Molly, I just wanted to show you guys this book that I ended up getting from one of my siblings who knows that I collect American Girl. And when I first got this book, the Molly collection wasn't out. So I didn't have the school outfit. I missed my chance to get it. I didn't have the desk. I didn't have the table or, um, well, I did have the cake and the tea set, but I didn't have like this um, camp go on again outfit, nor did I have the accessories or the camp, uh, the camp tent. And I didn't have this outfit for Molly as well, but I did have the Molly doll before she retired and I have, oh, you know what? I actually have four Mollies because I forgot that I do have the limited edition uh, 35th anniversary Molly. And so she's somewhere in storage, 
But um, I did get the school outfit for this Molly that comes with the saddle shoes and everything. And because she's a rather chubby doll, it does fit her rather well. And you guys can kind of look at the hound's tooth detail around the collar of her um, shirt or her blouse is what they would call it. And it's rather different from this edition. This edition is on the white body Molly. And when I got this outfit secondhand, um, you can tell it's not as crisp. It's more of a cotton blend material than um, this cotton material. And um, it also came with this pin. So I'm not like a real um, knowledgeable person when it comes to Pleasant Company and what's original versus what's not original. But I think the person who sold this outfit to me did hint that this pin came with the original jumper. And I don't know if that's correct. Like, I don't know if it's something that someone told her or if they really sold it with this type of angel pin attached to it. I mean, it, it seems like it would make sense uh, since Pleasant Company was like a really detail-oriented company. They would give you uh, a lot of nice fancy sets and um, they would give you like real um, china and real porcelain uh, when it came to some of their things. Real glass was included. Real wood was used for their tables and accessories. So I don't know anything about the original pin, if there was one, if there wasn't one. I don't know anything about the difference between um, the lace that was used around this collar versus the hound tooth lace or detail around this collar. So if you guys out there know um, anything about the history of these jumpers and the Molly collection, let me know because I am not that great of an expert when it comes to Pleasant Company. I just have white body Pleasant Company dolls because I grew up in the era of Pleasant Company when it first came out. And so I remember the catalogs. I remember receiving those catalogs when I was six and seven uh, years of age. So I'm, I'm not really sure as far as some of the details that a lot of adult collectors have because some of their relatives or parents worked for the company at that time. Um, I also have some little things of Molly's, like uh, this book, and I also want to try this on my boy doll. Um, I want to try this sweater on him, because not only did I get Molly's stuff, I ended up getting some Truly Me accessories for my boy doll, and I wanted to do that before they retired. Uh, the accessories and I ended up getting the Molly accessories because this Molly doesn't have any of her accessories where this one she's got partial accessories from her older collection um, when I ended up getting this doll second hand but uh, this Molly with the new head um, I feel like she deserves some of the newer accessories that came out from Molly's collection. So I'm going to put this on my doll and show you guys how my boy doll looks in his accessories and possibly this sweater. Okay, so here is my boy doll Rudolph in some of his accessories, especially the new vest that I ended up getting that has like the corduroy detail here with the Sherpa collar. And you can see the top of the turtleneck poking out. And this is just a generic doll, 18 inch doll size turtleneck, a red one. And um, the book bag has a little bit of detail of corduroy too on it and some red orange stripes 
with the gingham pattern. I don't even know if you would call that a gingham. Um, but I like how he has like a red phone case, a smartwatch, a dinosaur or shark. I think this is, I don't think these are dinosaurs. I think these are water creatures maybe. I think I see a manatee. Yeah, there's like sharks and jellyfish on here. Um, so I like the water bottle. It's very similar to the water bottle that my youngest has. Um, so I really like this outfit. And I think the meat shoes are so spot on when it comes to uh, boy clothing. I like how there's like a cuff on the meat jeans. And I like how I didn't have to spend any extra money on the jeans. Um, I like how I could carry this scarf over. Um, so it's still winter where we are. So I like how the scarf complements uh, what he's wearing. And for Valentine's Day, I feel like I can reuse this sweater from Hanukkah. Um, it's like a silly Hanukkah sweater, but it says love you a latke. Um, or a lock. And I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but um, I have enough Jewish friends where I think they could help me with the pronunciation if I needed it. So um, I probably will ask uh, later down the road before I do another one of these videos. So I'm, I'm, I sound culturally sound and competent um, and knowledgeable in other cultures. I would hate to, to mess this word up, but um, I do like the sweater. Okay, another thing that I ended up getting was the Peruvian travel set. It's the Peruvian souvenir set. And I really wanted to get this for my Leo doll who travels to Brazil and South America. So I feel like she would be the type to stop at um, to stop in Peru and go to Lima. And I also ended up getting this for Molly again, since it was only $15. It's a happy birthday Molly cake and all the accessories that she would like for her birthday. So um, I will show you guys how that looks in a separate video. But for now, I just wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting for a few of my dolls. All right. Talk to you guys later.